What's it like being drafted fourth overall in the NHL draft? Well, Caden Lindstrom is here to tell us all about it today on Locked on Blue Jackets. Your Locked on Blue Jackets, your daily podcast on the Columbus Blue Jackets, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to Locked On Blue Jackets, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I am, as always, your host, Jay Foster, here to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly about your favorite team and mine, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Before we get started, I want to thank everyone for making this your first listen of the day every single day. Locked On Blue Jackets is free and available on all podcast platforms and over on YouTube. I also have to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Uh, like I said at the top of the show, very exciting. Uh, we got uh, Caden Lindstrom on the show. Uh, he's going to come, and uh, we're going to talk about his draft day experience. We're going to talk about his time playing in Medicine Hat, uh, what his hopes for the future are, um, just all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to get right into it, and. Uh, We'll talk to Caden in just one second. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, you as kind of a hockey player, you as a person. Like, um, just if you could just tell tell uh, tell us a little bit about yourself to to start off. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm just uh, obviously I'm from like a smaller town, uh, Chetwin. Um, Played a lot of sports growing up. Um, grew up in the north, so hockey was really uh, my main sport. Um, and yeah, I have three younger sisters and my mom. Uh, yeah, awesome. Let's talk a little bit about hockey. Um, when did you realize that being drafted was something that was kind of on the on your radar? Um, probably like Pee Wee's. Um, that's uh, that's when I really started pushing myself and challenging myself. Um, and just wanting to get better every day. Um, yeah, it started at probably like uh, 13, 13 years old, probably. You started getting like scouts showing up at that age, or is it just kind of you yeah, realized like, that, that was what you wanted to do? Yeah, there's like some some academy scouts and stuff like that for uh, for like the West Coast and stuff. Um, but yeah. What was the draft experience like for you? Like, did you know that you were going to get picked by Columbus? Was it kind of a surprise or somewhere like... You had an idea, but you weren't a hundred percent. Yeah, I kind of, I had a bit of an idea, but uh, honestly, I did not really know what what, what would happen that day. Um, I wasn't expecting it, um, but I'm I'm really glad they picked me. Um, yeah. What was the like the day? It, like, what was the draft itself like? Obviously, happening in in Vegas in the Sphere. Like, was it the coolest day of your life, or was yeah, something cooler happened? Yeah, it was. It was definitely up there. Um, there was there was some pretty cool stuff. Obviously, I don't know if you've seen the robot or not. When we were coming down the uh, the excavator there, or whatever it's called, there the little the stairs. They would like introduce us, and it was like a talking robot. That was pretty cool. Um, and then obviously just the sphere itself, just the big screen and and everyone there was, was sold out too. So it was overall a surreal experience, especially in Vegas and seeing all the all the all the people around and, and things like that. And yeah, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Everyone that I've talked to who was there is like, yeah, it was it was yeah. really awesome. Um, what kind of player is is Columbus getting now that they've drafted you? Like, I know I personally have read all of the the scouting reports and and you know done all of the the watch the highlights and stuff but like if you're trying to if you're trying to sell yourself as a player like what would you what would you say like what would you talk about if you were giving us giving a scouting report about yourself yeah so i'd say that i'm a i'm a skilled power forward um i play with a lot of speed and power uh i protect the puck well down low i'm good um uh, I'm, I'm good down low with the puck uh, in front of the net um yeah, I'm just a, I'm a hard player to play against. Um, I'm physical as well. Is there anyone in the NHL right now that you have kind of modeled your game after? Anyone that you kind of watched growing up um, that you decided that like that was the kind of game that you wanted to play? Um, not really. There's like obviously some players that I try and pick 
picks and like skills or attributes from. But uh, I watched like a lot of Nathan McKinnon growing up, um, Alex Ovechkin and Sidney Crosby. Just those three guys uh, did um, try my best to pick up uh, some of, some of their skills and their uh, what they're what they're good at and try to add it to my game. But yeah, yeah, for sure. What's like the one aspect, if you had to pick one aspect of your game that you kind of take the most pride in, what would you say that is? One, uh, probably my, uh, probably my skating or my shooting. Um, I, th I feel I work on my shot quite a bit, uh, whether it's after practice or, uh, off the ice. I've got more of my conversation with Caden in just a minute. But first, I've got to tell you about game time. It's summer, and that means it's MLB season. And is there anything better than going to a baseball game, getting a couple of beers, maybe a couple more beers, eating our weights worth in hot dogs, and making great new memories? Well, you can do all of that if you go to game time and buy your tickets there. They make getting tickets faster and easier, and prices on their app actually go down the closer it gets to the first pitch. So if you finish work early by, by chance and you're like, hey, maybe I want to go check out a uh, Cincinnati Reds game, for example, you can do that at game time. They've got last-minute deals. They've got all-in pricing. They've got views from your seats. They've got their lowest price guarantee, which means that if you find tickets in your section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. They've also got the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account and redeem code L O C K E D O N N H L for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Yeah, obviously, big big summer coming up. Uh, NHL training camp happening in uh, I think mid September. What do you want to work on over the summer so you can like? get to training camp and then get to the kind of the the prospect tournament that, that that happens every year or do you want to work on to make sure that you're like you get to training camp and you're ready to go yeah i just want to work on my overall game um just just every aspect of my game was defense or even even uh getting better in the offensive zone and in the neutral zone um yeah just overall skill as well mm, just just what i've been doing for the past uh couple of years but just doing it um, 10 times better than I did because um, obviously the NHL is a much harder league and after getting drafted uh, all the work starts then um, and and it's and it's 10 times harder than it was in say junior or, or Bantam or something like that so yeah yeah gotta gotta get the reps in this summer and then yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> and then see what happens yeah. um, I want to talk a little bit about um, your kind of experience with uh, junior hockey in the WHL did you always want to go and play in the WHL do you ever consider like the other junior leagues in Canada did you consider college or was it always you knew you wanted to kind of play I guess a little bit close to home but I don't think me Medicine Hat is not super close to <laughs> to where you grew up I don't think <laughs> My uh, my Canadian geography is not great, but yeah, you're so playing the WHL. Um, yeah. So during the, my draft year, um, our draft is in December because of COVID. Um, but yeah, I was probably pretty much 100 percent college. Uh, growing up, I always dreamed of playing college hockey and in the universities and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that was that was a big. Well, at the time, it was a priority of mine, but um. Yeah, I ended up getting drafted to uh, Medicine Hat and uh, ended up visiting there. And and um, I watched the first game. It was in the Saddle Dome, and I thought it was pretty cool that they played in NHL rinks. And I just – I like practicing with the team. I liked how um, they played, like, so many games. It kind of kind of got you ready for pro. It gets you ready for pro because it's a, it's a grind of a league. And, yeah, was, I just thought that was the best thing for me, obviously being, like, a bigger, powerful guy. I was – I feel I could uh, I could develop quick there and uh, learn a lot quickly. So I thought that was a good option for me. How are you enjoying like Medicine Hat as a as a city? Yeah, it's it's, it's good. It's a good city. Um, it's uh, pretty pretty slow. Not much going on. Um, hockey's uh, pretty big there, and the Tigers are big there. So that's that's really good. It's a good junior hockey town, and uh, and yeah, it's a it's a fun city to play in. 
yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different living in uh, living in Columbus. I think it's not like a big big city, but it uh, probably a little bit different to a little bit different to to Medicine Hat or you know um, the where you grew up. I would imagine. Uh, Columbus. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Columbus is uh, it has that small town feel to it. Um, not, it's not like too fast paced like say Vancouver, where I've been living for the past couple of years. But I like it a lot. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's just it's a really pretty much a calm city. I can imagine when football and hockey comes around, it gets a little more, a little more pumping. But um, yeah, it's I like it a lot. Um, it's growing me on, it's growing on me a little bit already. Um, being here for a couple of days. Um, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I am. Uh, I don't live in Columbus, but I am a, uh, a big fan of uh, mm-hmm. of the city, and I'm always one of the big advocates of like, no, you have to go there, and then you'll understand. So yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's one of those cities um, exactly. for sure. Um, what's been your fa- like, obviously? You mentioned that you got uh, you watched the game in the the Saddle Dome when you were kind of thinking about joining uh, whether to join the Tigers or not. But what's been your favorite arena to play in, apart from obviously like your home arena? Because I feel like that. I feel like it's cheating if you just say your home arena. So, like, what's your favorite away arena to play in? Um, I say, I don't know. Playing in the U.S. is always pretty cool. Like all the U.S. teams, um, just because they have like their crowds just get packed. Um, but I'd say uh, I really like playing in uh, Kamloops. That was a fun arena to play in, and in Edmonton as well. Yeah. yeah, Edmonton, I imagine, gets pretty, uh, pretty, pretty packed as well. Um, yeah, yeah, they do. But uh, eh, I guess the arena's so big, you can't really tell. But yeah, they, they get they get quite a bit of fans. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. Um, what's been your best memory of uh, of the season that's just happened? I know that there was obviously some some bad luck with injuries and stuff, but um, what was kind of the the best? What was your favorite part of of this season that you've just played? Um, yeah, uh, the best part is probably just, um, just winning with the guys the first half that I was able to play. Um, obviously I couldn't spend the second half with them. Um, I was gone most of the time, but yeah, the whole first half was a blast. Obviously we're winning games. We're really consistent. Uh, all the guys were, were at, we're having lots of fun. Um, and then, uh, obviously playoffs wasn't what we wanted, but, um, yeah, that was that was pretty fun too. Just just facing that adversity together, I think made us better as a team. And yeah, it was good. What are your hopes for next season? Is there anything that you kind of want to accomplish, either kind of as a personal goal or as a team goal? Is it just a case of you want to get back with the Tigers and and be even better than the team was last season? Like, is there anything specific that you want to kind of accomplish this season? Um. Yeah. Obviously. Um, I'm going to put in the work this summer Um, and uh, yeah, obviously I'm going to do everything that I can to crack the lineup at 18 and here in Columbus. Um, Yeah, that's uh, I'm going to do what what I know what to do in the summer and yeah, just grind all summer and do uh, yeah, that's about it. We're going to finish off our conversation with Caden in just a minute but first i've got to tell you about ebay motors passion drive and patience is the formula for winning championships it's also what keeps your ride or die alive ebay motors has everything that you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance they've got superchargers roof racks exhaust kits led headlights and more whether you are into speed power or style ebay motors has you covered they've got over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die and you're always going to find exactly what you're looking for on ebay motors And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every single time or you're going to get your money back because with eBay Motors, you're going to burn rubber, not cash. They've got all the parts you need at the prices you want, so it's easy to make your car the MVP and bring home those huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay Guaranteed Fit is only available to U.S. customers. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, you've, you've just spent a little bit of time in uh, in Columbus for development camp, um, and we talked a little bit about kind of how you enjoy it now. What like what did you enjoy 
the most about Columbus because I know that whenever I'm there, I'm always like, wow, the food is great. Uh, mm -hmm. The city is like the just walking around the downtown area is pretty great. Like I like the short north a lot. Like what did you enjoy about Columbus when you spent a little bit of time there during Dev Camp? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed uh, every bit of it. Um, obviously, the facility is world class. We have everything there you could uh, you could ever want. And then also the town. Um, you have nice nice days here all the time. Um, the people are so nice. The fans are so nice um, when you're recognized. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. There's a lot of good places to eat as well. A lot of good restaurants on on High Street and stuff like that. And yeah, did you get recognized a lot when you were here for development camp, or was it just? handful of, uh, of fans yeah here and there just walking around um mainly just at the rink uh more like but yeah yeah very cool uh what did you know about columbus before getting drafted here apart from like just that it was it was in ohio and there's an nhl team there was there anything that you kind of knew about it going in that had you kind of excited to to play here one day uh before i didn't know anything about it uh really but um i knew i knew they had a they had a young team and um i was really excited about that when when they when they picked me because having a young skilled team is uh, is really exciting and i think um yeah exciting to kind of join that young group and be part of yeah. the kind of the next step in in exactly. the blues uh yeah. success really exactly yeah, yeah. Um, I think during the the draft or after the draft, you mentioned that you the you train with uh, Ken Johnson uh, mm -hmm. over the over the summer. Sometimes is there anyone else in Columbus that you uh, that you know already, either from having played against them or maybe playing with them, uh, kind of in in your younger days? Like, is there anyone else on the team that you're kind of already familiar with? Um, I'm not not too much. Obviously, I know like a lot of guys like Sillinger played in Medicine Hat for a while there. And then, um, yeah, uh, I also train with Christensen as well. Uh, he's, he's in our group. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah. Exciting to kind of come to a team and make, make a bunch of new friends, I guess, is, yeah. uh, which sounds yeah. like a silly thing, but it's always, yeah. it's always nice to meet a new team and, and get, get to know the guys, I guess. Um, what do you do when you're not playing hockey? um like have you got any hobbies or i know that you said that you played a lot of sports growing up but like what do you do away from the rink mm -hmm. yeah so away from the rink um i just hang out with buddies quite a bit um obviously i'm pretty active so i uh we play a lot of like uh, a lot of different sports away from the rink like pick up basketball or something like that or we'll go to the field and i don't know like uh just anything really we'll, we'll play a lot of golf as well once in a while um me and my buddies are really big on on uh, on the boat, so um, yeah, we'll go like wake surfing stuff like that, hang out by the beach. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it's very fun when I do one of these and someone says uh, gives me an answer that isn't either golf or fishing, which I know is like the two big things that yeah, hockey yeah. players like to do. But it's always exactly. fun when uh, when I find something uh, something else, you know. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. it's always fun. Um, I think that's kind of all I've got question wise. Cool um so thanks for uh thanks for coming to to hang out on the podcast and i'm sure that all of my listeners are real excited to kind of see you in columbus this uh this summer for training camp for preseason maybe for for even after that so mm -hmm. uh congratulations on on being drafted and uh welcome to columbus Caden. Yeah, for sure thank you very much thanks for having me i appreciate it and that's all I've got for today. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to uh, catch up on some of the news that happened around the weekend. Uh, maybe we'll have some coaching uh, update news. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Karol Marchenko uh, contract quotes that came out on, uh, I think, on, on Friday or Saturday. Um, so lots to, lots to talk about tomorrow. Thank you for listening to this episode, for making it your first listen of the day every single day. Locked on Blue Jackets continues to be free and available on all podcast platforms, over on YouTube and on Sirius X. Um, uh, thank you for listening once again. Uh, I've been Jay Foster. You can find me on Twitter, uh, underscore Jacob Foster, J-A-K-O-B-F-O-R-S-T-E-I. You can find the show at L-O underscore Blue Jackets. And, uh, if you have comments, questions, criticisms, email me at LockdownBlueJackets at gmail.com. Again, tomorrow we're going to talk about Karel Marchenko and, uh, any other news that uh, happens to pop up. But until then, make sure you stay 
Locked on.